gonna go over chilies. So introduction of our chilies here, their spice levels, how to use them. So if you're curious, if you didn't grow up with chilies, then maybe you'll just wanna jump in and see, taste, taste the different heats and flavors, okay? So I have lined them up. Of course, this is not everything in the world of chilies, but these I find are the most common here, at least in Southern California, and the ones that I probably use the most, some of them more than others, but I will tell you those. So without further ado, we have the chili lineup. Okay, can you guess which from right to left or left to right is the more spicy and less spicy? I will give you a second. <laughs> Okay, if you said this is the spiciest, then you're right. This is the habanero chili, uh, very hot. And then as we go this way, they go less hot. So we'll start with the kind of baby hot. It might still be some hot for, for people, but this is the Anaheim uh, pepper. And you know, it's you can uh, dice it up and maybe cook it with your eggs, put it in like a chili soup kind of thing. Um, it's not too hot, it has nice flavor, sometimes maybe a salad, but I think it's the best for saute. So saute with maybe some onions, other peppers, and put it with meat. Then we have the poblano, or also known as the pasilla chili, but I think the correct name is poblano. This chili is famous for being the chile relleno, which is the stuffed Mexican chili. So what they do is they fill it with some cheese and then they fry them and then they put it in a, in a tomato-based sauce. And it's this uh, beautiful chili kind of quesadilla thing in a sauce that's one of my favorite Mexican dishes. So it's a little more labor intensive to make that, but it's really nice. I also like to roast these and then dice them up, put them with steak or chicken, um, but it has really good flavor. Sometimes they're very hot, definitely spicier than our neighbor, the Anaheim. Then we have this one, maybe a familiar one to you. This is the jalapeno. So people will stuff these or you know dice it up in your eggs a little spicier. This is probably my go-to for salsas, for fresh and roasted salsas. So you can just dice them up and um, put them in salsa, one or two of them. You know, always there's a variation from pepper to pepper, chili to chili, I guess, how, spi how hot and spicy they are. So you start with just one taste and add more if you want. Always, washing your hands and do not touch your face or any other part of your body when working with chilies because it will burn. Okay, so wash your hands well. And then, this is my new favorite. I didn't learn about this one until just a couple years ago. The Fresno chili. You can, uh, they don't have it in all the markets, but if you do find it, you know, you'll see it right away because it's this cute little red one. Not super, super hot, but it's got a little heat packed on it. And uh, I love the flavor. It has a little more uh, flavor than the other ones in terms of like, um, I would say make a, a slightly floral flavor. So if you just want heat, heat, you know, use jalapeno. It's kind of more of a green, grassy taste. If you want a little more floral, kind of a little more interesting, we got Fresno. And in restaurants, they like to dice these up, or slice, I should say. Sometimes they fry it with calamari, and um, they're just very flavorful. I like this. I like put them in, putting them in uh, beans or lentils. Um, it's a it's a really nice one when I have it. Okay, now we're gonna kick it up a notch and we have a real hot one here. This is the Serrano. This is a 
pretty large one. Usually they're smaller. But serranos tend to be quite hot, okay? So I like to use them in salsas. Um, and some t in this case, in this case, I'd probably just use a quarter of it and taste. Um, so yeah, serrano is really about heat. If you just want to get the job done, you want to spice something up, dice one of these up and it's going to give you that heat that you want. Okay, and speaking of heat, finish with Mr. Habanero chili here. Um, this is uh, really packs a punch. So a lot of people like to do pickled, um, you know, your, your mix of pickled carrots and onions that you find in a Mexican restaurant and you can put a little bit of these sliced ones, but you gotta mix this with other stuff because alone, uh, this is just gonna just kill your tongue and all your taste buds in a bite. So that's it. That is the lineup for the chilies today. Uh, maybe I'll do a tasting <laughs> coming up and you can see me suffer through them. But I uh, just wanted to share that with you. So if you just want to get started, start with the baby spice. And if you just want to grab something quick, get your jalapeno and, and see how that is for you. But really, try this guy if you find him. He's really nice. Fresno chili. Okay, that's all for today. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. And uh, belated Happy New Year.